Eight Days, A Story of Haiti by Edwidge Danticat, pictures by Alex Delanoy. When I was pulled from under my house eight days after the earthquake, my family was there waiting. The following day, everyone asked me, were you afraid? Were you sad? Did you cry? I was brave, I told them, but when the earth shook again and again, I was afraid. And sometimes I cried because I missed Mon Men and Papa and my little sister, Justine. But in my mind, I played. On the first day, I flew my kite, and my best friend, Oscar, who was with me when my house fell, flew his kite too. It was a windy day, and our kites went high up into the sky. Later, Oscar and I started a game of marbles. We invited all the kids in our neighborhood to play with us. It was the biggest game of marbles ever played in our neighborhood, in the entire country, in the entire world. On the second day, Oscar and I played hide-and-seek. We hid in a dark, dusty corner of the house, and not only did Man Man and Justine come looking for us, but Papa did too. When they came close to finding us, Oscar and I popped up and yelled, Alarev! Surprise! On the morning of the third day, I teased Justine by pulling her pigtails. She ran into the house where Man Man was using bright red polish on her toenails. Man Man made us sit down and she gave us some paper and we made paintings with her toenail polish. In the afternoon, I went to Papa's barbershop and helped him sweep all the hair off the floor like I usually do. Then we sat down and Papa told me stories of the shop and of when he was a boy, like he always does. Afterward, we went out in the yard behind the barbershop and set the hair on fire. The fire crackled and sparked. On the fourth day, Justine and I were at rehearsal for the St. Trinit Children's Choir, and I sang too loud. Pay Boyer, our choir master asked. Junior, are you trying to get that solo again? I smiled and sang louder. And I did get my solo, and it was the best solo ever sung in the church, in the entire country, in the entire world. On the fifth day, Oscar and I went out to play soccer with some of our friends. Afterward, we sat on a bench to rest, but then Oscar felt really tired and went to sleep. He never woke up. That was the day I cried. On the sixth day, I went to the countryside with my sister, like we do every summer. A warm rain fell and we went outside and jumped in all the puddles. We got soaking wet and muddy. We opened our mouths toward the sky and each caught a mouthful of rain. On the seventh day, Justine and I rode our bicycles around the statue of the conch blowing maroon on Champs de Mars Plaza, across from the presidential palace. Justine tried to race me, so I slowed down and let her win. When we came home, I ate the sweetest mango I've ever eaten. As I kissed Man Man, my lips stuck to her cheeks. Then there was a blackout, so Justine and I recited our lessons to Man Man and Papa by candlelight. Sitting there on the living room floor, I thought about how much I missed Oscar. On the eighth day, when they finally found me, I was so happy because I could feel the hot sun on my skin and see the bright blue sky. I could see Man Man and Papa and Justine too. I tell you, I hugged them so tight I thought I would never let go.